mercies, mercies, new mercies, I see. Wow, morning by morning, I was thinking about that as we were playing. Thank you, Pastor Mike. This is such a moment. We really didn't actually prepare much to say. There's been so much happening. I know my mom's always ready to go, but I want to thank each and every one of you all for being here to honor dad. And we are a part of his legacy. We are. I have a couple notes. Let me see. 3113. Oh, yeah. So we said the question is not why is he gone? It's why are we still here? So I want us to be encouraged this morning as we mourn that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And the legacy is within all of us. Um, he's, he was a spiritual being having a human encounter and we got to encounter and be imparted by him. And so I just want to encourage everyone to um, make your spiritual encounter count as dad did. Thank you guys. Viewer, as you have seen in the video, how Pierce and Tatter pay tribute to her father in a best possible way. And earlier her mother had also paid tribute to her husband through a very emotional speech. Of course, the death of a such religious leader is not less than a great loss, and especially for his family, his daughter, his son, and his wife. It is a great shock. He was considered among the best religious leaders. This is a reason why a large number of his followers and lovers have been seen at his funeral. And the prominent and well-known people of the country present at his funeral paid tribute, paid tribute to him in a very excellent way and prayed for him. People who opposed his thoughts and ideas always tried to make his life controversial and finally his last funeral was also made controversial, which I think is absolutely wrong. Any human being is born free in this world. He has his own thoughts. He has his own opinion. He has his own life. He is responsible for all this. Freedom of opinion should be a right. Thank you.